We are still talking about going from where you are to where you want to be. The power and the ability to change your present reality and condition to that reality and condition that you desire with all your heart. The Bible says in the book of 1 Peter chapter 5 from verse 8, it says you should be sober, you should be careful, you should be vigilant because your adversary or your enemy, the devil, as a roaring lion, is walking about seeking whom he may devour. And the Bible says for this cause, the Son of God, the Son of Man was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Good morning, and I warmly welcome you to I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga, a daily broadcast that God commanded me to make and send to people everywhere in the world in order to encourage them, to motivate them, and to inspire them. These messages are sent with power to heal you, spirit, soul, and body. Whatsoever is healing you right now, I command healing to your body. I command healing to your soul. I command healing to every part of your humanity in the name of Jesus. I see somebody feeling jittery and feeling rejected. That spirit of rejection, let it leave you right now in the name of Jesus. Receive grace to pick yourself up and begin again. A man or a woman may have left you. God have not left you. God is with you as a mighty terrible one. Receive grace to rise. Receive grace to shine. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Once again, I welcome you to this broadcast. And today I continue from the topic which I'm saying that you can create a new reality. If you don't want the present situation, the present you know, reality of your life, maybe that reality like I saw right now to somebody, who somebody just rejected you, left you, and you felt as if you are all alone in the world. That is your present reality. Some people's reality right now, there is no money to do anything they want to do. There is no job. That's your present reality. Maybe your present reality is that there is sickness and disease in your body, and you have prayed, and you have done everything, but the sickness or the disease persists. Or you have even gone to the doctor and maybe the doctor have even said, look, this disease have no cure and this disease is terminal. You will die soon. That may be your present reality. But I make bold to tell you as a servant of God by the word of God that you have got the power to rise and change that reality. You have been given power by our Lord. He said in Luke chapter 10 verse 19, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and all the power of the devil, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. These present realities you are going through are the serpents and the scorpions. Maybe the devil has stung you, sting you with this pain, with this scorpion of joblessness. Or maybe the serpent of sickness of of beating you. I don't know the reality presently, but God has sent me to encourage you, to motivate you, and to inspire you to rise and shine. Isaiah chapter 60 from verse 1, he said, Arise and shine, for your light has come, and the glory of God has risen upon you. Hallelujah. It is your time to get out and shake off the beast into the fire. Sometimes it doesn't mean that God will not allow those things. Paul, in the island of Melita, after coming out of a shipwreck, it was a winter, and they were gathering you know, you know, wood to make fire in order to warm themselves. Then a viper, meaning a serpent, a, a, a snake, came and fastened itself in the hand of Paul. And they said, this snake is a venomous snake, a snake that once it attaches itself to you, you will suddenly begin to swell up and you will fall down and bust and die. That, 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 that snake was very poisonous. If it touches your skin, you will surely die. And this snake came and fastened itself to Paul. But what did the Bible say? The Bible says that Paul shook off the beast into the fire. Hallelujah. He didn't say, oh my God, look at what has happened to me. Look at this snake now. I'm going to die. No, 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 no. Paul didn't talk like that. 
the Bible says that Paul shook up the beast into the fire. I don't know the reality of your life, but this morning you've got to shake up the beast into the fire. Is it the beast of sickness? Shake it into the fire of the Holy Ghost. Is it the beast of HIV? You've got to rise and shake it off into the fire. Hallelujah. Now, to, for you to get to that reality that you desire, I'm telling you today number three things to do. Yesterday I said you have to change the way you think. Maybe you're always thinking of anything. You have to change that thought. Hallelujah. Now, the next thing today is that you have to recognize that there is an enemy. The majority of the people, especially the children of God, the Christians on this earth, 95% of the cause of your present reality or situation is the devil. The cause of most of the things that we face, the, the root cause of the sickness, the root cause of the family breakdown, the root cause of divorce and hatred, the root cause of those children rebelling against their parents and making the parents unhappy and sorrowful. The root cause of most of this present situation is the devil. And until you recognize that the devil is real and the devil is not working for you, but working against you. Until you understand and realize this and rise and challenge the devil and put the devil where he belongs, under your feet. Until you are able to do that, you will continue to mark time and you will continue to elongate this present reality. You, this experience, these things you don't want in your life may continue until you rise and say, devil, I bind you. Have you ever wondered, don't you know, this is the reason why in the book of Mat Matthew chapter 16 and even chapter 18, Jesus said to us, he said, he said, he said, whatsoever you bind. He said, I give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. See, God is saying, I've given you something. I've given you power. Now, when you refuse to bind the devil, heaven cannot bind. Because the binding must start from you. You see? You see, you must be the one to initiate the process of disgracing the devil in your life. If you don't initiate that, 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 that process, you see, angels may not assist you in that regard. It is what you bind that the angels go to work to bind. And that is why in the book of 1 Peter, the Bible talks about angels. They desire to look into the things that God has given us. We are so privileged as Christians because we have the life of God that even angels, they desire to look into the things that God has given to the risen man. And the risen man is the born again man. The risen man is that man that has been imparted with the life of God. You are that man. You've got power to change your present realities. You've got power to receive your healing. You've got power to break that hold of barrenness. You've got power to conceive children. You've got power to become rich. You've got power to do anything. You've got power to go anywhere. You cannot be stopped. You are unstoppable. You cannot be moved by these things that are surrounding you. You are unmovable. You've got the life of God in you. And this thing that God gave you, this is the most important. He gave you the name of Jesus. The Bible says he has given us, a, he has given Jesus a name which is above every other name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. And when Jesus was going, he said, I give you that name. He said, in my name, they shall cast out devils. In my name, they shall speak with new tongues. In my name, they shall take up serpents. Do you know what it means to take up serpents? To take up serpents means to challenge the devil. When you take somebody up, you are not holding him with your hand, but you are challenging him. You can take somebody up on any matter. So you can take up serpents. You can take up the devil concerning the events of your life, concerning the, the, the reality of your life, and say, devil, from today, this must stop. Because you've got that power. The devil recognizes it. But what the devil does is that he thrives on our ignorance. Rise today and do something, and it will be done. 
this way I'm going to stop. Thank you so much for listening to today's message. I believe it blessed you. So I want you to get other people blessed. Share this because there's somebody out there who has got power to change his reality but doesn't know about it. When you send this, he's going to come to sense and say, oh, thank you for sending me this. I mean, if this was sent to you, you love this message and you want to hear it on a daily basis and you have your own WhatsApp, then just save my number with I prevail. My number is plus two seven seven four zero three zero two three eight one. Save that number right now. Go to your WhatsApp and say add me and I will add you from tomorrow. You begin to hear this kind of messages. If you got this on YouTube, why don't you subscribe? Because this is sent and uploaded to YouTube on a daily basis. On a daily basis, you can simply get the alert. Just click the you know alert button so that every time this is released on YouTube, you will be notified, and so you can listen to this message. It will bless your life. I promise you, it's gonna change your life, and you will begin to see great blessings coming to you. You will naturally begin to attract the blessings of God when you hear this word and you become a doer of this world. You will become unstoppable. Thank you very much. Once again, Joseph Adenuga signing out this morning and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.